And welcome back to another daily devotion. I'm Pastor Roy here at Woodlawn Christian Church in Lake City, Iowa, and this devotion is for Tuesday, uh, January 24th of 2023. And if this is your first time seeing the channel, uh, welcome. And if you do enjoy this devotion, please like and subscribe and come back again. Um, and also, if you want to look around, we have a playlist then on the channel of various different books that we've done studies through. Um, currently, we are in the book of Romans, and we are currently in chapter 12. Chapter 12 is not a real long chapter, and it's broken up into two main sections. Um, really, you could take the entirety of chapter 12 in one devotion. Uh, I broke up the first section into two, and I'm breaking up the, section, the second section into two as well. So uh, rather than having two sections, we have four. Hey, we double our money. Um, double our good, I guess. Uh, at any rate, this section in the Revised Standard Version uh, bears the title of Marks of the True Christian. Um, and we're going to look at verses 9 to 13 in chapter 12 today. Uh, we just got done talking about the body, uh, you know, the, the, the body of Christ, the body of believers, that we're all a you know, different part of the body. We all have different abilities. We all have different roles to play in this Christian faith of ours. Um, and that those roles do change. I mentioned that yesterday as well. Um, but today we're going to kind of continue on from that. But, I, you know, these breaks that we have, even chapter and verse breaks, that's not the way Paul wrote it. Uh, Paul wrote it as, as one letter. Um, so I think there's really a continuation. He's been talking about the Christian, but you know, the Christian followers, the Christ followers, and now he comes into this next section. Um, so I think he's still talking about our relationship with one another. That's what I'm thinking for the most part. So let's look at 9 to 13 and we'll talk about them. All right. Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Never flag in zeal. Be aglow with the Spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in your hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Practice hospitality. Okay. Let love be genuine. Let your love for Christ, let your love for each other, your love for the body of Christ, be genuine. Don't, don't none of this fake, phony, you know, plastic banana kind of stuff. Uh, be true about it, and and let it let let your 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 care for each and other uh, be genuine. All right. Hate that what or hate what is evil. Um, and the word hate there that the RSV uses probably isn't strong enough. A lot of translations use ab abhor. Uh, or you should could say strongly hate, or very much hate, um, be against that which is evil, and evil is and it's full of destruction. The, what destroys the body, hate what is evil, hate, hate the evil one, um, and we do need to be careful there because we can we can find ourselves in a situation where there is a, a cancer in the body if you want to to make it likened to a body can you know, that illustration of the body and we need to remember isaiah and i talked about isaiah in the sermon on sunday a little bit um we were dealing with, with luke's gospel and jesus is reading the scroll and quoting isaiah so we talked about isaiah so isaiah is kind of top of mind today but isaiah has a verse that we should always have top of mind. Um, that's Isaiah 5, verse 20. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. We are Today, we are really doing a lot of things, um, and I've talked about this, about us the, as the Christian faith being wagged like a tail, and rather than being social influencers, we are influenced by so, the society. Um, rather than being countercultural, we've succumbed to the culture. This this idea of, of craziness that is, that is embarked upon the world, um, and much of that can get us in trouble. Um, woe to those who call evil good, um, and evil would be anything that is manipulating. Um, people out there, and I don't like to try to keep myself from getting in too much trouble, uh, so I do sometimes kind of skirt the line and not go straight at it, um, and I apologize for that, a little cryptic to speak, perhaps, but I think you understand where I'm getting at. There are a lot of things that are attacking the faith, but also attacking the children, 
Um, there's an awful lot of things in society that are degrading the children. We've actually gotten to a point in society where it seems to me that we're purposely trying to manufacture mental illness. And we've done a bloody good job of it. We have got, I see mental illness all over the place anymore. It's rampant um, and it's getting worse. And it's going to get worse um, because of what the way we are influencing the children. And some of that stuff is virtually irreversible. It, it, you, you, you've destroyed a person's life forever with some of the confusion and the confl confliction that you implemented upon children because of your own confliction. And, and you should never... You know, misery loves company, that old thing. But you should never inflict misery on someone else because you are miserable. That's not good. Um, but woe to those who call evil good and good evil. So, with that, um, hold fast to what is good is the next section. Hold fast to that which is good. And we need to do that. We need to hold on to that which is which enriches our sin, which teaches the children and teaches the children about love, not teaching the children about hating themselves as much as anything else. Um, and so we need to be careful of that. Love one another with brotherly love. Again, this I think is reflecting back on the body, the whole, the, 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 the community. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Outdo one another in, in how well you regard each other. What could we learn from that? Uh, churches tend not to obey that one at all. You tend to see uh, conflicts and, 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 and backbiting and backstabbing and all of that um, in churches. But we're not supposed to do that. We're supposed to outdo one another in showing honor. That fat, that, that fat hairy finger is being pointed at us, as I talk about. Uh, if you see the fat, hairy fat finger of God pointing at you. Um, at any rate, Never flag in zeal. You're supposed to be excited about this saying. You're supposed to have real intensity about your conviction. Be a glow with the Spirit. A glow, like a glow, you know, be filled so much so that it just exudes from you like light. Um, serve the Lord. Uh, rejoice in your hope. Don't give up. Boy, there are days we need that one. And it seems like more and more nowadays. Do we need that one? Rejoice in your hope. Be patient in tribulation. Um, again, we certainly need that because it seems like we're going through some times of tests and trials. Be constant in prayer. Don't forget that one. We all fall short on that one, myself included. Um, contribute to the needs of the saints. Practice hospitality. Take care of one another. Take care of the body. Care for one another. Um, and that doesn't necessarily mean that you're paying the bills of them, but you're concerned for one another. We, we, we pray for each other. Um, hopefully we, we, we try real hard to keep, to, to keep each other in our prayers, uh, in that constant prayer, and, and in keeping an eye on each other. So with that, that is verses 9 to 13, and we're going to go on from there. There's going to be more of this whole thing in 14 and through the end of the chapter, 14 through 21. But that's tomorrow. All right. With that, have a very blessed day. And if I've offended you, I apologize. But sometimes, you know, we do need to be offended because sometimes we need to be called up short, especially when it comes to that whole thing in Isaiah 520. Uh, Woe to those who call evil good and good evil. Um, and that one's really prevalent in society today. Society is certainly calling a lot of what is evil good and a lot of what is good evil. Um, and it's a tribulation. It's a trial. <laughs> Have a blessed day. Please, please, please be a blessing to someone today. And if you do enjoy these devotions, please like and subscribe. We'd love to have you back again. And uh, God bless. See you later.